What's going on guys? Hope you're having a great day out there today. So today now we got the big rock down here at the BMX park. Um, we've had good, some good runs with the uh, Creighton 8S and the Creighton V4 success. Um, broke the shock rod on the 8S and uh, the V4, no real issues. I broke the wing mount, but that's no big deal. But uh, that thing performed awesome today. So now it is the big rock's turn. So let's get this thing out there, have a little fun. We got an Ovonic. Uh, 5200 milliamp high discharge 3s life bonus thing so we're gonna go give it its turn so let's roll guys all right guys we're making our way out onto the track here this, this uh big rock has been an awesome truck you know i had a lot of fun with the granite and uh, i bought this thing basically it's the long wheelbase version of that except it is a little wider uh, but uh overall it has been an awesome platform so far this truck has been holding up great I uh, really haven't broken anything on this thing yet uh, i've been a shock rod on it but uh that was no big deal <laughs> Nothing major so far, at least. So, let's give the big rock its first launch here. I doubt it's going to clear this, but uh, we're gonna give it a try anyway. <laughs> oh, geez. It was a lot closer to clearing that than I thought. Maybe if I get a good run, a little straighter run at it, um, might be able to actually clear that. Oh. Well, <laughs> almost hitting myself with the big rock. All right. We're gonna give this a take two. Wow! I cannot believe that thing just actually made that. I mean, it just made it by the hair of its chinny chin chin there, but uh, the old Big Rock did clear this. I cannot believe that. That's pretty surprising. I mean, it's a decent leap, and it's not a super, you know, uh, high takeoff ramp either. So that's pretty impressive that this thing actually just cleared that. I was wheeling too much into that one. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever walked this off to see what the distance of this, uh, I don't know what you want to call this thing. It's a little rhythm section, quadruple, whatever you want to call it. Let's see what the distance is on this. So it's about from takeoff to landing up there. Um, it's right around like 62, 64 feet. I'm um, right in that area, give or take a foot. But uh, it's a nice little leap, especially for Bone Stock 3S. This big rock is always an awesome, fun truck. Oh, case that one. <laughs> Didn't land on its wheels either. All right, let's go up here and uh, maybe send her off this high wall. Well, before we make it to the high wall thing over here, we're gonna send her off this little tabletop jump here a little bit. Oh, wow. Right where the dirt ends and the concrete ends, or starts. That's where it decided to land. <laughs> I don't think I could have picked the worst place to land that thing. Oh, all right, well, that seems to be the distance. <laughs> Of it you guys can see man this thing is coming down right at the edge where the concrete or blacktop is starting i'm gonna break something if i continue that i think all right we're gonna try and send her off the high wall here i have a feeling it's either a not gonna make it or b if it does it's gonna land on its roof of course and make me go out there and retrieve it oh no it cleared it but it's gonna make me go walk out there and get it so guys, as I was out here on my walk of shame, I just had to say, it is a real challenge out here trying to still have fun and run the cars and get footage of it at the same time because batteries on everything are just not lasting at all. You know, between my camera and my phone, depending on which one I'm using, um, it is a battle with battery life. As soon as I'm not recording something, I gotta put it down in my pocket, try to get the phone warmed up because when it gets warmed back up, the battery life uh, increases. <laughs> But, uh, it's definitely more of a challenge here during the winter. All right, let's get this thing back in there and go have some more fun. Enough complaining and whining. All right, we're going to see how the big rock handles the little doubles here. Nice and smooth. Oh, I can't tell if it landed on its wheels or not. It didn't sound too good. I got to tell you, by the sounds, I thought it really uh, landed on its dome, but it actually was on its wheels still. But let's give this one a try now. Ooh, that gets a little more sketchy. Maybe that was that rock I hit on it that made it sound like it crashed. Ooh, this big rock is a blast. All right, let's give her another good launch here. Uh-oh, my servo is not working right. So, maybe something's caught in there, a rock. Because it'll turn to the right, it won't turn to the left. All right, the big rock is all better again. It was just a rock jam down in the, the steering arm down there. 
I'm sure as many of you have experienced. <laughs> Ooh, that was nice and close. <laughs> Jeez. Give her one more glaunch and we're gonna go hit the high wall. Ooh, well she got the nice there off that one. Some of these track jumps are just perfect sizes for different cars. I really have a lot of good time, a really fun time down here with the 8S though. Um, this jumps are really nicely scaled to the truck, it seems like to me. Like, really nicely take offs. Everything usually take off, lands pretty de decent with that truck down here, but oh well, enough yakking here. I'm just rambling on, I think. But let's go send Big Rock off the high wall here, see how she takes it. All right, well, let's give her her first run here. See how the old Big Rock takes this rather brutal <laughs> landing, especially. Grass is kind of deep out there. Uh-oh. Ooh, she came down hard. That thing caught really weird off the lip of this thing. Go see what we broke. Well, it didn't break. I knew it came down on that front passenger side wheel really hard. As you can see, it's towed in pretty bad. Uh, I think I maybe broke that front little steering knuckle um, and probably bent the front top tie rod, I think. Um, but the, she's still rolling, so we're gonna give her one more send. We might be busting out the Typhoon a little sooner than I thought. Maybe we'll have both of these cars in this video. It always depends on how much uh, runtime I get out of each car, depending on if it all the cars turn into one video or they each get their own dedicated video. But let's send to Rig Rock again. Well, she landed that one half decent, but did roll over, but at least it didn't land on its corner that time. Well guys, the Big Rock is still living. <laughs> this thing is living up to its name. Oh, managed to get up on the plateau with that thing. Wow. But it is getting pretty late in the day and I'm gonna have to get rolling here. I don't think I'm gonna have time to run the Typhon down here today, unfortunately. Maybe we'll try and take that thing down to the skate park or somewhere else here in the next day or two. The weather stays half decent. But even broken, the Big Rock <laughs> is still performing like a champ. This truck is unbelievable. But I hope y'all, oh, battery's going flat too. <laughs> My God, poor truck. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that front wheel does not look too healthy. But I think that's going to do it for the video today. We're gonna take it easy on the Big Rock and send her back the truck to rest a little bit. But. I hope you all enjoyed the video down here today. I had a fun time down here with the BMX track with uh, a bunch of the cars. Had a great day. Had a lot of fun. So I'm glad you guys tuned in, came along with me, check it out, had some fun. So until next time, y'all, be safe, be careful out there. Peace out, everybody.